Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, and I'll tell you what, this is really a well done 1960 Dodge Matador station wagon. Give you all the details in a moment. Yeah. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, and boy, I'm a station wagon lover from way back when, had them all my life. We've got a 1960 Dodge Matador station wagon. Boy, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a walk around, a cold start, give you all the details of this really, really unique and rare automobile. I mean, you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website and all the information on this car and its pricing. And our website being www.ellingsunmotorcars.com and once you get to that website you'll find all the information like I said on this car, our current inventory which is close to 100 vehicles ranging from everything from the 1920s to the 1970s and beyond, everything from the Restle Mods to Bone Stalkers. If you're looking for that classic or collectible vehicle, odds are that Ellingson Motor Cars probably has it sitting right on our sales floor. Let's get into the details of this, what I, like I said, I've always been kind of a person that loves the old station wagons, had them when I was a kid. Never had one quite this nice, of course, but it is really, really a well done car. Look at this color combination. I mean, this is really a great color for 1960. It's cocoa metallic and the top is cloud. Now, it, it's kind of more of a bronzy type color to me, but it is really 50s and really well done. The other thing about this car is like I said, it is just, just put together beautiful chrome work. You know, back in the days, the chrome was part of the big thing going down the side of the car. They had to let you know that it was called a matador. Now, I had to do my homework. It's like, this is so rare of a deal. I don't remember ever seeing a station wagon. And as everyone knows, the station wagons were a little lower on the production level. Not as many of them were made. And so it is one of those cars that if you're looking for something a little different than what the average guy has, we've got it right here has a beautiful engine compartment upgraded with a, a 413 in it. Uh, it is beautifully detailed. It's got an Edelbrock with a four barrel on it. Just everything looks really, really nice under the hood. <coughs> the other thing that someone has done, it does have some of those bells and whistles that everybody likes. Accessories and options where everything had to be custom ordered back in the day. You had to check off the box, you know, from the dual outside mirrors power steering, power brakes, uh, you know, power brakes and steering, you know, steering being one of the best things on a big car like this really, really is nice. And that, you know, they're actually just something that you can, you know, if you got parallel parking or you're going to the local car show, no, it's just a really nice thing. And again, power brakes, it's got power front disc brakes on this car, another nice upgrade, if you will, for the 1960 automobile. And it also has the wide white radial tires and the radial tires, again, one of those really nice features that they, you can do on cars today, didn't have that available in 1960, but yeah, it's got the full hubcap. That is really a good looking hubcap in my opinion, but it just, you know, radial tires just makes these old cars go down the road way nicer and it's super smooth driving. You know, with the 413, it's got the push button automatic transmission. Oh my gosh, that means anybody can jump in this car and uh, try out your uh, parallel parking skills, if you will. <laughs> You're gonna need them, because this car is exceptionally long, old car, but look at the interior on this car as well. Beautifully redone in the uh, two-tone uh, uh, vinyl with seat belts. Someone's even put seat belts in the, in the front seat and the back seat as well, and look at that steering wheel. I tell you, Chrysler, they had the forward look, if, as, as it was called, and boy, they had some really neat features. That is a really unique dash and whatnot with a clock in the middle, and the dash has got, it's even a padded dash as well. Just really nice for us kids that used to hit those metal dashes with our foreheads when mom or dad would hit the brakes a little too hard, because most of these cars didn't have seat belts, nor did anyone worry about those at the time. 
No, like I said, all the chrome is just really, really well done. Look at that luggage rack. I tell you, it's, you know, the family truckster, but in 1960. I mean, you didn't have minivans. You didn't have that kind of stuff. But station wagons were gaining in popularity because, you know, you could actually get seat comfortably. Lots of people in there. You could haul stuff. It was kind of your glorified pickup truck, if you will. You know, nice options, like I said, on this car. Power steering, power brakes, even a power back window. So you can hit the button, put that down, and you're ready to, ready to roll. Um, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things that it's just, I'm, I'm just always been a station wagon guy. We had a 1954 when I was a kid. Then we had a Rambler wagon and you know what? And I had them when I was married, I had all kinds of station wagons. Just were really, really neat. Nope, the, the old 1960s was a really big year transition for Dodge. New hood ornament emblem in the front. Look at those tail fins on the back. I mean, it's got, don't look for that chrome parts. We've got it all right here. That's what's nice about this car. It's ready to rock and roll. Now you can find all of our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We appreciate it. If you subscribe, you'll get all the information on our current inventory, this car, and as an added bonus, you'll see some of the cars that we've sold over the years as well. So if you got time to peruse those websites, take a look because there's always good stuff for us uh, car nuts in, in, in that kind of sites. No, it's one of those cars that if you're looking for something a little different than what everybody else has, boy, we've got it right here in a car that, like I said, anyone can jump in and drive. Now, if you're like me, you're going to say, you know, I got to come down for two reasons. Number one, I want to take a closer look at this thing, and I've never even hardly seen one of these cars. So if you want to see it, we're welcome. Come on down to Ellingson's. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. If you can look at this car and our other current inventory, close to 100. Now, we can also assist you uh, with answering any questions you may have on this vehicle. Give us a call. We are at 763-428-7337. Now, if you need some help with financing or you need shipping uh, help, we ship cars all over the world, all over the country. Name it, we can do it. So we can help you with that as well. No, I guess this is one of those cars that uh, it's, it's so unique that uh, if you're just one of these guys like myself, you want something that never, not everybody else has, we've got it right here on the sales floor at Ellingson's. Well, thank you again for watching our video. We appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you'll watch lots of them and enjoy them. And hopefully you'll come down and visit us someday. Again, thank you kindly. And we'll see you next time at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com.